All right, so today we're talking about the Mukjong. Just to introduce you to this piece of equipment here, uh, the Mukjong is one of the best tools you can use to sharpen your angles and lines. What do we mean by that? Well, part of what we mean by that is the angle of, say, a block and deflection like Poxa. So for here, that's all the distance I need to go. It's just a little distance here. I don't need to chase it way out wide or anything. I can keep it tight. So as I work this, this helps reinforce that line. As a beginning student, you want to start off just in a basic training stance. Make sure you're close to the mukjong here. Hands down the center in fighting position. You're going to pox out. Three straight punches down the middle. Three straight punches down the middle. Two things to avoid. One is reaching up over the arms. I actually want to get in the practice of going right in between them. As you develop this, you'll actually make contact with these arms with the wedge side of your arm here, for example. And that will help ensure that you've got good, strong, clean lines on your punches. All right, the next step would be to move to a closing stance. I want to make sure that I align this as a pox out, right? I don't want to start in the middle and have to reach to the outside like this to cover the block. So I want to make sure I'm here, I get into a good closing stance, I'm already close, hands down the center, right? Just a little angle here. I'm going to slap, punches. No footwork yet. Punches. That's all my lead hand stuff. When I'm ready to do the rear hand stuff, I switch my lead, again, making sure that this is at the Poxow angle, so it's going to be slightly on this side. I'm going to start, I'm going to strike, and I'm going to strike again. Boom. One. Okay? And I can do that both right and left leads. Once that's complete, now we can actually take it to a more dynamic type of training, okay? So what that means is I'm going to use a side step. Side step two for my lead hand, side step one with my rear hand. So again, I'm going to start by lining up to it, making sure I'm close enough to this mukjong that I can actually strike the pad from the starting position, and that way I'm ensuring my side step is going to reinforce the partner work uh, off of this piece of equipment, right? So as we're here, I'm going to sidestep two, lead hand pox out, right here, making sure I've got good alignment through my feet, through the center mass of the opponent, in this case, the wooden man. One more time, I line up here, nice pox out, good alignment. When I switch and I go to the left side so that I can use uh, the rear hand pox out, get my alignment again. I'm going to strike with my side step one, right down the center. I want to make sure that each time I pox out, whether lead hand or rear hand, that I'm doing it on the step to make sure I've got good timing and I begin my hand work right away. 